Theatre Festival, Lise. And that's why she was there, because she was theatre. The Anyone? Gorge? Do you know? Banyan? No. no. What was that last town? We spent a lifetime there one night. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so I, suddenly I'm in a relationship with her. I now respond, so she ended up buying the house that I was working on in Italy. And then she got this place in, in Oregon. And then she got a, a house on the south coast in England. <laughs> and each property had got a swimming pool. And a nightmare, nightmare, like the, trying to keep them all maintained and stuff. So anyway, I'm introduced to her. So she was married. Her ex-husband was the premier heart surgeon in the States. Oh, yeah. And... Her, her hobby was she liked children's theatre. And her husband used to buy her theatres. <laughs> <laughs> and, and again, she was from privilege. And suddenly I'm introduced to all these people, you know, to, you know yeah. Audrey, Marjorie, whoever it is. <laughs> Actually, it's Lady Audrey so-and-so <laughs> or <laughs> Sir Michael so-and-so, all these people. Anyway, so I'm suddenly swimming in this pond that I'm not used to at all. And I'd never come across so many people that hadn't ever had to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Literally. Didn't didn't have to, you know, worry about a roof over their head or putting food on the table. None of these people had a faintest idea about it. And it was it was such a and I I was at the time I was what? I was probably thirty five, getting on forty. And I'd never ever encountered this. You know, I'd encountered rich people, but literally, and all their kids—they'd all got fifteen kids, and none of them, none of them was earning a living. It was just—it was culture shock. We had a lady moving.